Hello again and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be combining the concepts that we've learned in the first five lessons to play what we call a chord melody for the song When the Saints Go Marching In and Ode to Joy by Beethoven. But before we start today's lesson, I'd like to play the melody of Ode to Joy for those of you who learned it on your own. See how you did. One, two, three, four. How did you do? Did yours sound like mine? If it didn't, don't worry, just keep practicing and I assure you, you will do great. Now, what do I mean by a chord melody? Excellent question. So far we've learned chord progressions and we've learned melodies. We've learned and played them as separate entities, which is awesome and very common in music. Now, however, we're going to take both of those to another level by combining them so that we have the chords and the tune of the song playing at the same time by us and only us. The ukulele, much like a guitar or piano, has the potential to be a self-sufficient instrument that can basically be an entire ensemble by itself. That doesn't mean we always want to do that because obviously playing music with other people is lots of fun and very rewarding. But being able to be self-sufficient is a valuable and fun skill. I definitely recommend it. Okay, let's start with the chord progression. At this point, you should know what to do, so let's just dive right in and play the song. If you don't know what to do, that's okay, but I'm going to refer you back to previous lessons in the course. Once you feel like you're ready, please feel free to rejoin us for the chord melody. We will be here waiting. The strumming pattern for this song, once again, is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. All right, let's play the chord progression for the song. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Go marching in. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Great job. Now let's play through the melody together. Remember that this is in the key of C, meaning that the notes have been selected from a C major scale. That should be review, so if you don't know it, just go back to the previous lesson and take a look. All right, now let's play through the melody for when the saints go marching in. Also review, so we'll just play it one time. One, two, three, four, one. Oh, when the saints, two, three, four, one. Go marching in, two, three, Four, one. Oh, when the saints go marching in, two, three, four, one. Oh, Lord, I want two, three, to be in that number, three, four, one, two. When the saints go marching in, two, three, four, off. So now we have a melody and we have a chord progression. Now that we have the chord progression and the tune of the song in our hands, we can start learning the chord melody. Like I said before, we're going to break this up into four sections, each section four measures long. Let's take a look at the first section now. 
I'm going to play the first four measures two times in a row, both times slowly. Remember that when you see notes stacked on top of each other vertically, that you're supposed to play them at the same time. Those are chords. Here's the first section. One, two, three, four, one. C chord, C chord, C chord, C. And section one, one more time. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, moving right along, here's section number two. Also starts on count two, I'll play it twice. One, two, three, four, one. And section two, one more time. And moving right along to section three, which starts at the end of line two, um, starting on count two. Here we go, section three. One, two, three, four, one. Section three again, on count two. One, two, three, four, one. And section four, starting on count three. One, two, three, Four, one, two. And section four a second time. This one starts on count three. One, two, three, four, one, two. How did you do? I definitely recommend when you're practicing a song that you break it up into sections like that and don't always start with section one. Maybe start with section four, play that five times, then do section three five times, then do section two, and then do section one. All right, let's put the whole thing together. Um, I'll play it two times in a row. See if you can play with me. If you can't, that's okay. What are you gonna do? You're gonna practice. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, one. And one more time at a faster tempo. One, two, three, four, one.
great job. Don't worry if you couldn't keep up. This is not easy. So once again, please make sure that you are enjoying the process and understanding that you have to practice on your own in between lessons. Okay, now let's take a look at the chord melody for Beethoven's Ode to Joy. You may have noticed when we did When the Saints Go Marching In that it was pretty straightforward. We would play a few notes from the scale and then we'd strum a chord uh, three or four times or two times, depending on the duration of time we needed to cover. Ode to Joy is a little bit more involved. Uh, we will be combining notes from the scale with the chords. In this case, however, we will be playing partial chords sometime rather than the full chord. For example, the first note of the song has three zeros stacked on top of each other on strings two, three, and four, and it says C on top of it. So really what we're doing is we're strumming three strings of the C chord, like this. We're just leaving out the first string. Um, in the second measure, there's a partial G chord. So what we're going to do is put our fingers on the G chord and you'll notice that there's numbers, again, written on strings four, three, and two. If you look at the numbers, you'll see there's a three written on string two, which is fret three, we have our finger there. And then you'll notice number two on string three, which indicates fret two, our finger's already there. You'll see a zero on string four, indicating that that string is open. And then you'll see nothing written on string one. So while we are fingering the G chord, we don't need to strum all of the strings. So the first note of the second measure is a G chord, but strumming three strings only, like this. Now let me play the first line for you at a medium tempo. One, two, three, four. That was the first line. I'd also like you to notice um, in the last measure of the first line uh, where it says G chord, you'll see a zero on string two rather than the three that we normally play. So we just have to make that adjustment. We're going to play a G chord, um, but we're only using fourth string open, third string second fret, and then the second string open. Technically, that's called a G6 chord, but we're just going to call it a G with a melody in it. So once again, here's the first line of Ode to Joy. Now let's take a look at the second line for Ode to Joy. The second line is going to involve a C chord, an F chord, back to a C chord, and then a G and a C. The first line had a very similar melody with different chords. Here's the second line slowly. One, two, three, four. For the second line of Ode to Joy, I'd like to point out what's happening in the second measure or the F chord. You'll notice that there is a fret three written on the second line indicating that we play fret three on the second string. Normally when we play an F chord, there's fret one on string two, not fret three. So what we're going to do is we're going to fret the F chord like we normally do, and then we're simply going to add our third finger to the third fret of the second string, just like this. Then, for the second note of the second measure, all we're going to do is remove our third finger. So now we have fret one instead of fret three, but we still have the lower notes of the chord ringing on top of it, like this. Fret three, and then fret one. Here's line two one more time. One, two, three, four. F chord with an extra note. This time I'm actually using my pinky, not the third finger. You can decide which one you like.
and then two notes of a G chord, two notes of a C chord. Moving along to the third line of the chord melody for Ode to Joy by Beethoven. The third line has a faster harmonic rhythm. In other words, the chords are changing faster than they have before. In the first two lines, most of the chords were a full measure or four counts in duration. Notice that the third line, there are two chords written per measure, indicating each chord is held for only two counts in duration. Here's the third line of Ode to Joy chord melody slowly. One, two, three, Four. Ending with a partial G chord. And finally, the fourth line of the chord melody for Ode to Joy by Beethoven. One, two, three, fourth line. F chord. Partial C chord. Ending with a full C chord. I know that that's a lot more difficult than when the Saints go marching in, so please enjoy the process of practicing it you will get better with time. If it's easy, that's great too. Don't worry about it. And finally, I'm going to play you the entire chord melody for Ode to Joy by Beethoven. One, two, three, four. See you at the next lesson. Practice, practice, practice.